here on the beautiful island of Honolulu. Ben, didn't you go to vac didn't you go on vacation here uh, a while back this year? I did. I Last did. Year. I loved it so much. Yeah, I did. Loved it. Hot weather, hot women. Loved it. Wait, wait, is that Kelly Muscle? The hell is he doing here? Oh, hey. I fired didn't you last fire week. Him? Yeah. This is Italian muscle just coming in here and trying to take take hostage. You oh, son man. of a bitch, you do rag wearing faggot. I, I, I'm gonna, someone's gonna come out here and bury you, you son of a bitch. Go back to taking steroids, you fuck. Oh my god, look who's here, Ben. He's gonna oh, shut god. up, Cali. My new security. The big guy's back, bitches. <laughs> You don't see me, you don't see the side bin. He's gonna okay. shut up Cali so he gets the shove underway. What's, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, nothing. Stupid! Ha <laughs> ha! Hurry up, beat his ass. Finish! You got an epic. Oh shit! The big guy just crushed Cali muscle bin! This is what you get, you stupid idiot! I fired your ass last week for a reason! Get the hell out of my ring, Cowie! Get rid of this man, big guy! Oh, here we go! Finn Vince, as we see this! B2S2! The blood bomb shell shock! No! Guys, we're getting into the first match here. Ben's talking about hot weather and hot shit. I mean, I hope the machine didn't get too overheated. He's still got a match here tonight. We got our first uh, fatal four-way elimination match for Moby Riches. Just gonna ignore my comment, bro? Kevin Page is gonna be in action later tonight, Ben. And he's gonna be in a qualifier. I know he is. Who do you think's gonna be down the ringside? Well, probably you and the referee and the fans and fuck okay, that shit and the VIP yeah. table. Fuck okay. that. Hopefully not Justin because he's a retard. But uh, I like no. Oh, oh. oh, I didn't say that. Uh, Ambrose <laughs> right now is in the ring and the next contender here. This is Fatal Four Way Elimination, of course. And it wouldn't be mayhem without. Johnny Mayhem himself, the mayor of Slamtown, making his way down to the ring here. Funny enough, Ben, I just want to point this out to you. Johnny, as of late, still frustrated with the fact that he didn't get a pure Mayhem title opportunity yet. So guess what, Ben? We've got a huge What's Universe that? title match here tonight, but next week, pure Mayhem title on the line. Johnny Mayhem challenges for the pure Mayhem championship. It's gonna be a big opportunity for him. He, he honestly did get screwed in that match. Where Justin Hollow just up and stole the victory out of both their hands. And he so far has just been holding the title hostage. But we'll yeah, see I know, next man. week. John is gonna be looking to get that payback next week. We'll see if he can or not. But uh I don't know. Go ahead. 
Oh, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll see if, uh, you know, Johnny Mayhem can bring a title to Slamtown. You know, unlike the Patriots did. Oh. You fucking whore! All right, number <laughs> West up. Moving on, entry number three. Fuck Philly! Hey, Philly, suck my dick! Oh, oh. Never mind. Enough of that. Although he's gonna say that enough when he comes to the ring, so you might as well get it out of your system now. I'm taking my headset off. Oh, yeah! Adam Cole, baby! Let it be known, everyone. Baby! I Doing it, so I have I have broke my mic. Should have expected that by now. How many times have I done that now? You gotta get Adam Cole in there, baby. Why? Just in case you missed it the first time. If anyone heard that cracking, that was my voice. <laughs> I'm not even sure if they heard anything like that. Probably blew out the freaking speakers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think Kevin Dunn or Lance or someone needs to get a better uh, headset there. What if we'll hear from Kevin Dunn later tonight? I didn't hear we are supposed to hear something from Kevin Dunn, so... He does have to give an update on Kurt Angle's, uh, condition after the last week. Well, uh... <laughs> Don't mess with an executioner that could just date Dan up. Adam Cole is the third competitor, and here are the fourth and final competitor. You haven't seen him here. You haven't Ladies been on commentary since he debuted. But uh, this is none other than the man himself, Ethan Carter the third. People are about to be in trouble, 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 trouble here tonight. This is EC3 making his way down to the ring here. And don't you just love the palm trees on the stage here? Wreckage isn't good enough to have shit like that on freaking their show. Yeah, I do, I do like the before, I do like it, so, I don't know why we had, obviously they're fake, I don't know why someone was yelling at me to water them, so, I, I don't know why, but, you know, just so everyone knows, we're not killing plants, these, these are fake, these are props. I didn't know we were in Honolulu for why hi EC3 looking at his first big match. Open and advance into the Road Riches ladder match. The road, the road Riches. Yeah, you cut me off there. Probably a good thing. I don't know what the fuck I was saying. Yes. Uh, you, no. you're, you're rambling. You're rambling. So I gotta say, Matt, who, who do you think is gonna win this match? Uh, I'm not. I probably shouldn't pick. I don't like my odds when I pick someone. They always end up failing me. <laughs> But uh, I think yeah, I think if you use your brain at all, you can probably cherry pick who the hell I'm picking here to win this. But right, uh, nonetheless, so, let's go, Adam Cole, baby. Uh, anyways, right, so, uh, everyone knows Adam Cole's pick, so cool. uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Johnny Mann's standing on top on the middle rope, calling up EC3. Nice hurt, Toronto. And meanwhile, Dean Ambrose, watch your face, Adam Cole, baby. Oh. How long was he doing down there? Dean was beating the crap Man, out of now Corona Crush. Yeah, Johnny's uh, admiring himself right now in the ring here. Oh, oh nice knee to the midsection. EC3 making him pay for that shit right there. Now Ambrose continued. Come on, Ambrose, get off Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, you might want to rethink that whole uh, mug and you know, all, all those ideas you had for Mayhem. Yeah, man, I, I wanted a freaking mug and uh, all that shit for Adam Cole, baby, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. Of course, uh, this next upcoming week, uh, this weekend will be, what is it, like round two of the United States title tournament here coming up this next weekend. And nonetheless, right there, Adam Cole with a nice counter into a cover. I know we have some huge matches lined up for round two, Ben, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Right there in knee to the back there from Adam Cole. Round one, of course, we've seen uh, Hammer advanced along with, uh, well, Bebe. But uh, right there in knee to the side of the head there from Johnny Mayhem. And uh, the, I don't know, who do you think has the advantage right now in this match? I'll, I love how all four of these guys start this match off really quick though. Right there, Corona Crush from Adam Cole. They're in it to win it. They know that getting into that ladder match, even though it's not a guaranteed win, 
they get an opportunity to cash in whenever they want on a universe title match. Yeah, it may not be so, a guaranteed win at Road to Riches, Ben, but it is a guaranteed title win if you can win the exactly, ladder match. Exactly. If, whoever wins that match will have the prime opportunity to win that title whenever they want. The guy could be taking a shit and they're gonna make it win the title. <laughs> Obviously, they're not. They're not going to do that. I'm, I'm just. I'm <laughs> Can you imagine uh, the champions just backstage taking a shit whichever title they may challenge for? And then, by the way, on Mayhem, they're going to be able to challenge for two separate titles as we have now up the Pure Mayhem title to a main event title caliber belt. So that is a very interesting situation. Whoever wins that Road to Riches ladder match will get the title opportunity at either or belt. I mean, you just got to take that into play here. And Johnny Mayhem off the ropes now. No, oh, knee right to the face of EC3. Oh, no. 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 Oh, right on the face and head. Looks like Johnny Mayhem's out of this match. Huge dirty deeds. And oh, Johnny's staying alive, Ben. I mean, he's not the mayor of Slamtown for nothing. So oh, jeez. He doesn't go down. Ambrose just wants to just hurt people, apparently. Yeah, this is EC3's first real big match here that he has an opportunity Ooh. here. Now EC3 looking to capitalize. Ducks a line off the ropes. Big flying lariat from EC. Oh, God. Uh, oh! Got both of them. Two the man EC. EC yeah. Holy Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now, man. I didn't even know you'd be able to see it. I thought you were going to be more focused on uh, Ambrose sending his knee right into Cole's face. It's okay, Adam Cole staying alive here in this. Just like he did the tournament. Let's go, Adam Cole, baby! Oh, shit. The one percenter! <laughs> one percenter out of nowhere from EC3. And no! Oh, wow! Ambrose stays in. Now right. throw up them two sweets, Adam Cole. That's what's up. Speaking of two sweets, Bullet Club sucks dick. I, I love how I love how they handled uh, their their matches at Crossfire. Good job, Bullet Club. Uh, nonetheless, this will be the last time I will speak of wreckage on Mayhem because we don't even want to give wreckage the time of the day. Here now, Johnny. Oh, oh no! I watch out, out baby. Right watch out, Cole. Johnny's going right after Adam Cole, baby. What could he possibly be going for right now? I don't know, but it can't be good. Dean Ambrose is now stirring back up to his feet. Oh, Adam <laughs> Cole. Just to rub it in his face. What the hell? Almost looks like Johnny kind of just helped Ambrose there. What the fuck? No one likes Adam Cole, apparently. I do. Moonlight Moonlight Drive. drive from Moonlight. Oh no! Wake up, Adam Cole, baby! Oh no! And it is all over for Adam Cole, taken out by the Moonlight Drive from Mayhem. Oh, he's still got the tournament at least. No, Adam Cole. He still has the tournament, but you well, can see what happens when you pick. People. <laughs> this is this is what I'm saying. I'm done picking people to win matches. Johnny <laughs> up to the top, looking for. Oh, the impact splash, but Dean into the cover pin. off of it. No, Ethan out. Oh, Johnny. He stole the... Is he going for another one? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. Easy no. three's done. Ambrose is such a tool bag. He didn't even do anything. Just stealing the victory out of, out of easy three's hands. <laughs> I mean... Now it's down to hell? Mayhem and Ambrose. So he's gonna be in. I don't know about you, but I would be scared if Dean Ambrose made it into that ladder match. Yeah, oh god, 450 Ooh. splash. If Johnny can do that on top of a ladder, though, I'd be scared if Johnny was in it. Oh, jeez. That's true. But right now, we know either way, the fans are gonna have an excellent match. Of course, we know so far the only man to qualify so far into that oh, match. Here it comes. No, oh, is the executioner Xander Mercer. But Johnny might be added to that list here. Two. No. Team kicked out of the Moonlight Drive. Ambrose kicking out. Ambrose really looking to make an impact here on Mayhem. 
but uh, no pun intended there. But nonetheless, Johnny Mayhem now gloating out of the corner here. Johnny needs to stay focused, though. Uh, and what is the mayor of Slamtown doing now, Ben? Oh, no. He might be going for the end. Oh, no, it looks like we might be getting El Mundo here. And that's what it is, the end of the world. No, oh, jeez, end of the world from Johnny Mayhem. Cover, one, that's two. He's going to be Johnny Mayhem. Wow. Johnny Mayhem enters the, he's now, he's now moved on to the Rugby Riches qualifier. Congratulations to Mayhem. Let's hope he can bring all that ferocity into the ladder match. Yeah, man, uh, but just think about it. Right now, the only other qualifier is Xander. <laughs> yeah. Johnny might be a little scared right now, to be frankly honest, but that was an epic freaking say the four way to kick off Mayhem. That's what's up, man. That's what happened, bro. That's, that's what's up, bro. That's what happened with Mayhem, fuck wreckage. Oh, what? I didn't mean, I forgot, never mind. And, uh, hey, Cali, go fuck yourself, you fuck. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Great first match here on Mayhem. So the show continues to be great. Yeah. Suck my dick, Cali. Oh, my God. Anyways, moving on. That was a great Road to Riches qualifier. Now we've got another one, Ben. Yeah, and thankfully I got a working edge out of him. Yeah, nonetheless, uh, out here making his way down to the ring first is Broken Matt Hardy. Ah, yes. Why do we have, Why do we have this guy in point? Ah. Uh, I might stop that. Uh. Anyways, Broken Matt's making his way down to the ring here. I think I know made Ben commit suicide, which wouldn't be good for Cage if he has a match later tonight. And uh, I'm sure he'll need Ben down the ring. So, you know, Cage has really had an up and down career uh, over the past couple of months, Ben. And uh, we'll see if tonight's an up or a down for him. All I can say is yeah. he's been doing very good, though. I can I can say that much. Under my tutelage, he will become the, the greatest champion ever. No, oh, will he now? That, uh, briefcase. He will. Once he wins that briefcase and takes up, he wins that universe title or pure mayhem title, as he puts claim tonight, yep. he will become the greatest champion the UWA has ever seen. Well, no, I don't know about that one. Remember, Xander did defend the title eight times against L LB Aldo even. So you'd have to talk him, but nonetheless, out here coming next is going to be a person who could very likely be in this ladder match. It could be a tough challenge for your machine if he does move on later tonight when he fights Greg Murphy. And this is the man that's not only the workhorse of the UWA, but he is the man with the five stars. This is Five Star Adam Page. Yeah, three and a half, maybe. Three and a half. Bitter. You, you, probably, you probably sent him out a freaking uh, invitation to join your little clientele. And then when you see exactly how Boy Ray did last year, he's like, nah, fuck this man. And Pentagon. So, so far, I will admit, Cage has been your most successful client you've ever had. The other two were giant fails. Pentagon's doing better now on his own. And, well, Boy Ray's still in jail, so. Uh, I have no connections with a said criminal of Bully Ray. And we're getting the second match of the night underway here between Broken Matt Hardy and Five Star Adam Page. AP going right after the arm of Broken Matt here. It's going to start out going for that Widowmaker early here as Adam Page went for a bitch slap. That's broken a Matt combo. able to counter. Now Broken Matt going for that Gord Buster. No. Shades of Jeff Hardy there, or Brother Nero, if you will. No, oh, right there, Adam Page right successful. back after the arm of Broken Matt Hardy. AP just continued to target that arm that could very well set up for the Widowmaker. Ooh. Now the gentleman's clutch suplex from five-star Adam Page. Uh, the, uh, Adam Page right now taking it to Broken Matt Hardy. I'm still frustrated, stupid Cali. 
But uh, nonetheless, uh, and then had him cold, but uh, oh. you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You let you have cage to look forward to. See, your neck's better. Five star Adam Page right now continuing after the arm of broken Matt Hardy. Uh, yeah, your mics. How's your mic doing over there? AP to the top early uh, on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Kevin Dunn freaking chewed on it a while back, and now it's still got issues. Uh, speaking of Kevin yeah. Dunn, I did hear that him and Lance are becoming kind of buddies right now. I don't really know what's up with that, but, uh. <laughs> but, uh, a broken mat to the middle rope now. Oh, jeez. I think he was looking to Try drop it. an elbow. Not exactly he, sure, though. Well, he looked like he was trying to do a leg drop, but he landed on his ass, so. I mean, that is kind of how you do a leg drop. Adam Page just wasn't there to take the blunt of the punishment. And now, yeah. uh, Broken Matt with a snap suplex there on AP. And now Matt went to stomp him. Adam Page moved out of the way, but gets Catch caught with a forearm. forearm. Fireman's carry takeover here from Adam Page. Now the man behind the five stars looking to follow up, but Broken Matt Hardy counters with a knee lift, corkscrew neck breaker. Now just stomping on the back there, five star Adam Page has broken Matt Hardy. Now what is Broken Matt doing? Just gonna stomp on the arm here of Adam Page. Broken Matt Hardy taking it to AP here, Ben. Yeah, Matt Hardy's trying to resurrect his career in that little lake of it. In the, the, yeah, that little lake of his. But I mean, oh jeez, I don't think Adam, he will. Adam Page right after the knee there, yeah. Broken Matt's not really fighting too smart here. Adam Page is just continuing after that arm there. He's targeted that arm since the start of this match. That is a very smart hit. For one, it sets up for the Widowmaker. And two, it sets out a good chance of him going in for that twist of fate. Oh, God. Uh, and... Oh, oh. oh! Ooh, rolling chaos theory. Yeah, by Adam Page. Uh, that's that's one way to do a German. Normally we see the hangman, uh, but right there we got the uh, rolling chaos theory German suplex from five star Adam Page. Now AP's taking Broken Matt Hardy to the top uh, rope here. Looks like he's going for that combo. Yeah, this isn't a combo served by Subway. This is a five star combo served by Adam Page. Now Page off the top, going for that five star Big. frog splash. No prevail there. Matt Hardy had it scouted. He had it scouted. Side effect! Oh, that, oh. oh could yeah! Could be it for Adam Page. Could very well. Adam Page could be in trouble here. No, oh, but broken Matt Hardy just continuing with those elbows to the head there. Five star Adam Page. Broken Matt now Calling calling up, up AP. What's he doing here? Twist the fake coming! Twist the fake. Oh, jeez. In for a cover here on Adam Page. One, on. two, two. And Adam Page, Adam Page kicks, kicks out at two. Oh, that was close, man. I thought Broken Matt Hardy's had him there. Hardy's looking very frustrated at this point. Yeah, Broken Both Matt off the drops. ropes. Uh, vintage Broken Matt here. Throwing up the uh, Vintage Matt Hardy symbol is Broken Matt Hardy. <laughs> broken Matt Lift right now. Oh. oh, got nothing. Worst DDT. Slides down the back to AP. Now AP could be going in for the kill here. If I was him, I'd go for the uh, Widowmaker, but he's going for that Whoops. The LCK, the Whoops can't kill. Of course, yes, that represents us well at Crossfire. Good night. And there we go. Adam Page is now moving on to Road to Riches. He is now qualified into the ladder match. Not much of a surprise there, but we're five three, star Adam Page, Xander so Mercer, Johnny Mayhem, Ben. Yeah, who, who do you got? Who, who do you got? Don't even say Cage. Uh, Cage, obviously. Uh, yeah, there we go. I just set you up for that one. Uh, and nonetheless, yeah. Broken Matt Hardy tried to get the win there with a big twist of fate. Almost had Adam Page. I thought he was dumb there for sure, man, but Adam Page able to kick out of the twist of fate at just the two. Then, of course, five-star Adam Page would come back with the LCK, the looks can kill, and that would kick him up the win against Broken Matt Hardy. Now, uh, dare I say it, Broken Matt Hardy has been deleted from Road to Riches. Well, let's be honest. We, we all kind of figured who was going to win this. 
Adam Page is a very tough competitor. We've seen him in some crazy ass matches where he showed his true toughness. So, I have no surprise he won in my book. Oh, Ben's coming down to the ring here now that we're back, uh, guys. Uh, I don't know, his Hawaiian shirt sucks to Ben to mind, but, uh, otherwise, I'm sure Ben's coming down here to cut some type of promo or something, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, of course, we still got KG Murphy in action later tonight, that being Ben's client. So I'm sure he's coming down here to talk about battle or about crossfire or showdown, or he's probably out here to brag about something. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you will bear witness to my client Cage, the machine, destroying a little bitch that isn't worth his time. And Gregory, oh please, show me Mercy Murphy. And once he advances to the Road to Riches match, he will pluck those stars from Adam Page until there's the only thing left are floating around his head. He will bring mayhem to slam town until nothing is left unless rubble and fire and finally he will read the executioner his final right and execute him where he stands dander you think you're so tough but come to me in cage when you've gone through and defeated a god of thunder and gone through hell in one night. And anyway, guys, you just heard the music going the way of the Latin American, American Exchange as we wait for Finn to get back here after this cut that promo here. Calling out Xander Mercer of all people, there was Kane, along with Johnny Mayhem and Hangman, or uh, Five Star Adam Page. Uh, and then we'll have Eddie Guerrero who's making his way down to the ring here. Of course, this is about to be the Latin American Exchange, the LAX, going head to head with the Connection here tonight, and six-man tornado tag action, of course, we've seen the Connection defeat Bullet Club and Crossfire, in an impressive fashion, with the Connection, and now here tonight, of course, for this match, they're going to get the opportunity to knock off the Latin American Exchange, I said I wasn't me uh, mentioned Wreckage anymore, but fuck you guys, you guys suck fault, the show that me and Lance did was better news than Justin could ever do. But uh, nonetheless, Eddie Guerrero, Homicide, the tour is 187, and of course, Supermax Hernandez making their way down to the ring here. 51 50 is LAX. And they are back in the cut here tonight, and they look serious. And they're about to go head to head with the connection. Six man tornado tag action. We've recently seen a rise here of this six man style of matches. As a Latin American exchange now, the third member. You've got, of course, American Alpha, Kurt Angle, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable still to come. An update on Kurt Angle's health by Dr. Dunn. Nonetheless, uh, LAX standing in the ring here. 51 50 is the Latin American exchange. They're setting the ring here, of course, repping the Mexico and Puerto Rico flags there in the ring. LAX ready here to go up against none other than possibly the most dominant faction ever in UWA history, and they might have proved that at Crossfire. This is going to be the connection. Making their way down to the ring here. This is six-man street fight style rules here as the connection make their way down to the ring here current reigning defending tag team champions the madman mason mercer and the bulldozer brody lee along with diehard dylan harris making their way down to the ring here for this three on three six man tornado tag street fight action the connection versus the latin american exchange here and you see those belts around the waist now the connection Bodie Lee and Mason Mercer didn't look too hot at Crossfire, but here tonight they're making, looking to make a comeback here, along with their boy Dylan Harris. Now the leader of the connection is diehard Dylan Harris, DH. And of course, he will be in a qualifier fatal four-way next week. Try to move on to that match, still to come our other qualifier which will second to close the night here tonight along with the Universe title match where Nitro defends the belt against the Navajo Nightmare Chief Graham. And muscles ring that bell. We're going to get the six-man tornado tag matchup underway. The street fight between the Latin American Exchange and the connection here kicks off strong here for the connection. 
Jeez. Holy crap. I think. Hey, Ben, what, what took you so long? Are you back finally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came back from the ring, gave, gave my epic speech, uh, took a piss, saw Cage, told him to kill Murphy, you know? And strategy. Did you see Kevin Dunn back there? I haven't heard from him yet. He was supposed to be doing a freaking uh, thing later. I haven't seen the doctor anywhere, so. The doctor, is that what we're calling him now? Uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, oh god. Oh shit. Harris uh, just taking Eddie Guerrero out there. Uh, very interesting how the two bigger men are fighting each other in the middle. Well, I won't say bigger. Yeah, Brody Lee with that discus lariat to the homie homicide, Notorious 1A7. And right now Hernandez is practically in the ring by himself, but homicide finally able to fight back here. I was gonna say for a while the there. Is, it, oh no. It, it's been oh, a minute shit. since we've seen that. Oh jeez. Mm. Vintage connection right there with the lawn dart. That's how the newest member there, uh, uh, Mason Mercer. From Mason. And Mason is not fucking around right now. And Eddie Guerrero going right after the ribs of Dylan Harris. Jeez. Of course, as we know, Ben, this thing's, this match is occurring here tonight based on the fact that a few weeks ago we seen some issues between Sammy Callahan, the Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero, or I should say Homicide was representing him in that match. Right there, Mason Mercer has oh. that curse of the Madman locked and Eddie Guerrero broke it up. But as I was saying, there was a triple threat between the homie Homicide, Dylan Harris, and Sammy Callahan, which would see Homicide pick up the win over Dylan Harris. And that set up this situation here tonight. I mean, are we not going to just point out that we just saw Brody Lee toss Homicide onto Hernandez? I mean... Yeah, I mean, now we're going to see Brody Lee toss him on to Homicide, but no, Brody Lee Ooh. able to counter. Do like these new jerseys tonight here from the LAX. I mean, they kind of look like a gang, oh, yeah. though, which, nice. I mean, really, they are the gang of the UWA. Now, Even so, I'm still giving the advantage to the connection tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say so, but right there, that big neck breaker from Brody Lee, the bulldozer. Ooh, nice. Nice good net breaker from Homicide. To the Eddie Guerrero man. sliding down the back there. DHDH DH staying in control. Oh, God, and Brody Lee off the ropes there. And Brody Lee is not playing around right now, man. Right now, Homicide with those three amigos to Mason Mercer. Brody Lee going in for that whiplash effect to Hernandez. Oh, taking down Hernandez. Eddie Guerrero's brought outside. Oh, the only one left standing is Homicide, and it does not look good for him. Yeah, he's not going to be staying much longer now. The whole Latin American exchange is down and out, man. Hernandez trying to get back up to his feet. Mason Mercer going in for a cover now. One, two, and Hernandez able to escape free. The leader here, arguably Eddie Guerrero, needs to get back control of here for LAX, man. So right now they are not looking too hot at all, man. Homicide able to counter oh. there. Oh god, Mason went to follow up. Homicide in there to break up the Saving. pinfall. Oh god, we caught the, the crossfire! Cutting the crossfire on homicide! Oh. Big jackknife powerbomb from the homie Hernandez. Now Hernandez going right after DH. Oh god, now he's gonna toss him on top of Homicide! Uh, well, that works, I guess. Don't know why you'd toss him on top of your tag team partner, though. Hey, well, it works, works. Nice dropkick for Homicide. The Brody Lee. LAX is regaining control here of this match. Dylan Harris injured and alone here in the ring right now. Someone the needs to get in back there. To his feet, getting back in the ring. Yeah, I would be scared if I were uh, in there with Mason Mercer, but right there, double team there on DH. Right there from Homicide and Hernandez. Went to follow up on Eddie Guerrero, did Mason Mercer, but Eddie's caught him. Northern uh -oh. White, or Fisherman Suplex, I should say. Right now, they're taking it to the, the connection, man. man. Hey, but Brody, Brody's back in the ring. These are two of the biggest factions in the UWA. Yeah, no kidding. Brody Lee war. flying in out of nowhere to break it up. Sorry to cut you off there, but I had to call that. Uh, right That's there. Fine. 
Harris now with the freaking, oh, I thought he was doing the three amigos to uh, Eddie Guerrero. Oh, God, Buddy Lee, Buddy Lee's oh, about no. to put her, toss Hernandez oh. in for the cover. Wow, and Hernandez out it immediately there. Eddie Guerrero and Buddy Lee, the two standing in the ring. That's the only now, reason why he got a pure adrenaline. This is getting intense, man. Like it wasn't already. And now Dylan Harris. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what's he doing? DH is doing is the three doing? amigos to Eddie. Wow. Pure disrespect from Harris. And no kidding. And now looks like the connection and firm control oh, here in LAX. Man. They just dropped all three of them at once. Did you see that big boot from... Mercer? Yeah, Dear now it's here we see the tag champions about to lay them out here. The whiplash effect with the Mamba Bomba here. The power of the oh. madman from Big Mason. Man, they're out. Just pin someone, man. The connection can just pin someone at this point. Look at this. Carnage. They want total domination. By the domination. connection, bro. Carnage. This is insane, man. And the connection and the right here standing tall. Holy crap! That yeah, was a very dominating show by the Connection. Taking nothing away from LAX. Well, that's for sure. LAX had a couple spots there where they almost had to win. I mean, look at that border toss early on from Hernandez. But uh, nonetheless, uh, right there, the uh, Connection. More importantly, the Tag Team Champions of the Connection, Brody Lee the Bulldozer, and the Madman Mason Mercer right there, just pointing out all the stuff right there. Power of the Madman, Teddy Guerrero from, from Mason Mercer there. Holy crap, what a performance from the Connection. Sure domination on their side tonight. That's all I can be said about it. Hey, where the hell did the lights go off? Did you not pay the fucking light bill? The fuck is going on? Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's the music of Doomsday. Uh, it's been forever since we've seen these guys. The, I thought we fired. So what, the, what the hell happened? Uh, I don't know, but I'm locking the door. I just assume so Red fired them. It's been forever since we've seen them. That's Sammy Callahan. Why is he with Doomsday? I told you, Ben, a few weeks ago, Callahan had issues with Homicide and Harris. And, uh, well, it looks like it's going to continue, but where did Stitches go? As we see back there, that's Van Sy still, and a new member on the other side, too. That being, of course, Matanza. And now it looks like it's the Matanza debuting here in the UWA, and it looks like he's aligned himself with Doomsday. And so I'm going to call Alice and tell her something, something, that, something uh, bigger Doomsday is erupting here. Oh, God. They, we thought they were scary before. Now they're just terrifying. Yeah, the, the old Doomsday is about to get shut out by this new Doomsday, and if I have the connection, I get the fuck out of here. Of course, that being Sandy Callahan in the middle there, the big Paul Van Sy, and the monstrous Matanza. Right there, Doomsday, as you read across the back of the jackets there, Sandy Callahan, Van Sy, and big Matanza, the monster right there with chains on his freaking shoulders. The connection, if you just know the connection didn't shy away, they went right to it. Staring him down at the ringside. The Connection here recently have established themselves as the best faction here in the UWA, and they're not looking to let freaking Doomsday stop that either. I think they might want to get the fuck out of the arena, though, to be honest. But these guys, I don't care how tough you are, they are demented and crazy. Oh, shit. They're oh, God, Muscles just got taken out in the Connection right now. Callahan threw the first shot there. And now the now Doomsday is going, going right after the connection here. This is insane, man. It's just an all-out brawl. The connection just got through with a match. 
Yeah, you thought there were a lot of factions right before Doomsday reappeared, but now we've got a lot more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say in some sort of fashion, I'm sure next week we're about to see Doomsday collide with the connection because this just got serious, man. Definitely. Holy fuck, Callahan right now going right after Mason Mercer some more. I think we should probably just cut the commercial or something right now. But Doomsday yeah. is taking it to the freaking connection here tonight. Expect Doomsday versus connection next week. And it is going to be huge, man. As right now, Doomsday is dominating the connection. Nightlife, lights out. Walk into a dead room, turn a dead room to a high crowd. Oh please, y'all here looking so cheap I'm in here so deep With a hundred dollars on both feet My team is no sleep, no sleep And now we are moving on to the third to final match on the card here tonight This is going to be for number one contendership Towards the Rising Stars Championship Currently held by Omar Robinson This is going to be a huge freaking number one contender match Last time these two went one on one in the ring, it was epic. And by the way, like Ben and Ben's not here right now. He left. He went to go talk to his boy Cage because the match is next, of course, against Gold Money Gregory Murphy. Omar Robinson tag team partner. Nonetheless, you gotta wonder if Omar Robinson is gonna be more focused on that match. The tag team partner more focused on this match. Next challenger for the Rising Star title. We've seen him successfully defeat Adam Astounded a couple weeks back on Mayhem to retain his title right after showdown in Seattle. They had the epic triple threat Iron Man match. Now, like I said, last time these two were in the ring, they put on a banger. And last time, Nikki Sutton, of course, came out the winner. But here tonight, we're going to have to see if that's the same or if Desmond Xavier can pull out the victory this time around. Desmond, I have to argue, has built more momentum heading into this match this time around as the X Factor of the Rising Stars Division, Desmond Xavier. This is going to be a great freaking match. And of course, still to come on main event, Chief Grand Challenges Nitro for the Universe Championship. And like I said, book for next week, Doomsday will collide with the connection in some sort of fashion. So if you're ready for this freaking match, it is going to be very interesting. Desmond Xavier and Mickey Sutton going head to head here tonight in this Rising Stars number one contenders match. Oh man. And Muscles ring that bell. We're going to get this matchup underway. Number one contendership on the line. And oh, Sutton right away going in for a quick cover here on Desmond Xavier. Looking to win it early with that high bridge Northern Lights. Now looking to follow up here on Desmond. Desmond's regained control though. Now Desmond Xavier looking for that Falcon's arrow. Shades of Adam astounding of course. Desmond now going to lift Sutton right back up to his feet. The hell Sutton, uh, Sutton caught Desmond off guard to start off the match right there. Nice neck breaker from Desmond Xavier. And now Desmond the X Factor is taking us back into control here. Gonna send Sutton off the ropes. Oh, drop salt there from Desmond Xavier. That was like a drop kick landing into a moonsault. Nicer landing than a normal drop kick. Now Desmond Xavier gonna snap off a of hurricane on Nikki Sutton. Sutton started out strong, but Desmond's returned the favor. Now going in for a quick cover of his own one. Only a one count on Sutton. Desmond Xavier's returned the favor here to Nikki Sutton. Sutton's right back up to his feet. Caught the arm of Desmond. Gonna send him off the ropes here. Ducks the line into the set out mat slam there from Nikki Sutton. Nicely done there, otherwise known as an Oscar. Desmond right back up to his feet, uppercut. Desmond what, might win an Oscar there for that uppercut. And now Xavier with another neck breaker there to Nikki Sutton. Of course, gonna set up for that X19 going after the neck of Nikki Sutton. And now Snap German, Snap German, practically into the corner of the ring there. Added damage, like I said, this is a huge matchup. This is way fast paced. There, nice jawbreaker. And now Sutton clotheslines Desmond to the floor. Nikki Sutton not playing around tonight, man. These two are boys, man. They've had a feud in the past, but they've been friends since then, man. They've grown respect for one another, has Nikki Sutton and Desmond Xavier, but here tonight Sutton is not playing no games, man. It's like Rick Ross's song, we don't play no games. 
And now he's going to send him right into the barricade. Drop kick to the side of the shoulder there of Desmond Xavier. And Sutton right now is picking apart Desmond out here on the floor. Desmond Xavier right now in trouble at the hands of Nicky Sutton, the young upstart. Here, of course, I said the same about Omar Robinson. Now look at where that's brought him. Sutton going to the top rope here. The hell is Nicky doing? Calling up Desmond. Desmond could be in serious trouble here. Her Corona, but Desmond Xavier, oh my God. Holy crap. He's just able to deadlift him back up to his feet. Now drops him out on the ropes. Desmond Xavier with an impressive showing of strength there to Nicky Sutton. Can't believe he caught him like that. Now Desmond from the middle rope lands on his feet. Catches him, sends Sutton over the ropes. This is getting insane, man. Big right hand there to Nicky Sutton. Now Desmond Xavier needs to look to follow up here. Desmond now in the apron. The hell is Desmond doing? Calling up Nicky Sutton. Here's Desmond Xavier. Oh God. And he flies off the apron. Hurricanrana to the floor from Desmond Xavier. Drop kick to the back of Nicky Sutton. This is insane, man. Desmond Xavier right now taking it to Nicky Sutton. He really shows he wants that title opportunity. Front flip into Hurricanrana out on the floor. Man, I've always compared Desmond Xavier to Wreckage's Ricochet. And he's definitely showing that here tonight with all these Hurricanranas. Desmond now looking to follow up, but Nicky Sutton counters, sends Desmond Xavier back into the ring here. Nicky Sutton, big right hand, Franken Driver! Franken Driver from Nicky Sutton to Desmond Xavier, and Sutton's firing back into this. Man, Desmond's opportunity could be slipping away from his grasp here. Desmond Xavier in trouble. Sutton's caught him. Tiger suplex. Jeez, that just drops Desmond right on his freaking neck, bro. Oh no, and Desmond now in serious trouble. Sutton looking to go across the pond here. Oh no, Desmond better watch out across the pond. Connects to Desmond Xavier, the boomerang cutter. And that could very well be it. One, two. Oh, but Xavier out at two. Oh my God, it worked the first matchup these two had, but it's not working tonight. Desmond Xavier wants this too bad. And now Sutton gonna make him pay for it. Desmond's really gonna have to earn this victory here tonight if he wants it against someone like Nicky Sutton. Desmond sidesteps the kick. Big right hand from Xavier. Now Xavier's caught him again, going for another Falcon's arrow. No, oh, right in the center of the ring there. Cover here from Desmond Xavier, one. Only a one count again on Nicky Sutton. He's gonna have to do a lot more damage. Kick to the back there of Sutton from Desmond Xavier. The X Factor right now showing that he might have the X Factor to win this. Oh God, Desmond needs to quit gloating here. Nice float over neck snap though. Now Desmond Xavier in firm control here. And satellite DDT from Desmond. We've seen that set up Roddy the other week. Or Sammy Callahan, I should say. Now Desmond going to the top. Final flash. Final flash connects on Nikki Sutton. Final flash from Desmond Xavier. One, two. No, and now Sutton kicks out the final flash. Both these two putting it all on the line here tonight. They want that title opportunity. Desmond Xavier now going to snap down Nikki Sutton. This is insane, man. Sutton in trouble, though. The hands of Desmond Xavier. Sutton fighting back up to his feet. Punched in the midsection. This is insane, man. Who is going to get the opportunity? Front flip, Rana. Nikki Sutton caught Desmond Xavier off guard there. Holy crap, returning the favor of the same move that Desmond did earlier. That's changed to their first match when Desmond pulled a page out of the playbook of Nikki Sutton. Oh, and right there, the DDT from the ground in position. I Man, I think Sutton might have him here. Desmond looks out of it. Oh, no, and Desmond's about to be in a lot worse, worse for wear here is Desmond Xavier. Here we go, a second across the pond from Nikki Sutton. Plants Desmond Xavier right in the center of the ring. Cover. One, two. 
three, and Nicky Sutton is now going to move on to challenge Omar Robinson for the Rising Stars Championship next. Huge win there for Nicky Sutton. Desmond Xavier, man, put it all out in the line here tonight. But Sutton right there across the pond. Connecting the first time, man. Jesus Christ, that was an epic match. Might have been the best Rising Stars match we've seen yet, to be frankly honest. That goes up there with Slick Rick and Hammerstone. Nonetheless, that final flash there connecting by Desmond Xavier. And I thought Desmond had it there. I thought he had pulled off the upset against Mickey Sutton. But the X Factor, man, I thought he had it. But Desmond, right now, just climbing those Rising Stars rankings every week, man. He clocked in at what? I believe it was number two this week. That might set him back a point or two, but... And Desmond, great showing, but Nikki Sutton is now moving on to face Omar Robinson next for the Rising Stars Championship. That is going to be a huge matchup. No shame there for Desmond at all, man. Final Road to Riches qualifier of the night. The whole reason Ben's not with me on commentary right now. He, he's about to accompany his machine down to the ring to take on the other half of Golden Swag, who's not the Rising Stars champion. This is Gold Money Gregory Murphy. So earlier tonight, Ben called him, well, Gold Money Greg. Please show me mercy, Murphy. But uh, nonetheless, Murphy's making his way down to the ring. Of course, Murphy will be in action in that United States title tournament. It's going to come round one. Man. Round one ish against KSJ. Should be interesting. Of course, we had the other round one tournament matches already, and they were great. Nonetheless, and here we go. The other competitor here tonight, of course, being accompanied down to the ring by Ben. This is going to be the man who is not a man but a machine. The Wolverine Cage. Hell, oh, Ben does. He don't really stand under the damn ladder. Don't you know that bad luck, you idiot? Nonetheless, the machine called Cage making his way down to the ring here. Like I said, he's about to go head to head with Ben. Benito, this should be interesting. Nonetheless, about to get this matchup underway. Ben. You better have been talking to your machine. I know he's been impressive as of late, but he's going to have to be impressive here tonight to beat Gold Money. You know, some might argue and say this might be a walk in the park for Cage. And Cage running right at Greg Murphy. Nice tilt the world arm drag there from the machine known, known as Cage. Now at the rope slaying STO. You wouldn't expect someone like Cage to start out using the speed here against Greg Murphy, but he is off the ropes. Big splash. Holy crap. Like I said, he's a machine for a reason, bro. Cage now going to send Murphy. No, pulls him back into a big boot. Murphy is not doing too hot right now against the machine. And another big splash off the ropes from Cage. The hell did Ben tell Cage, man? The hell did he tell him? Now off the ropes again, another moonsault there from the machine. Holy crap, the one who's not a man but a machine right now is on in full control. Jesus, he is running through Greg Murphy, man. Holy crap. And now Cage has Murphy up. The hell's the machine doing here? Hangs him out to dry on the ropes, did Cage. Cage in for a quick cover here. One, two. God damn, man. Murphy's already spent, bro. Holy crap. And now Murphy able to sidestep the drop kick from the machine. And now going to catch him here with a bit of a swinging neck breaker. 
He's going to have to do a lot more than that if he wants to rebuild momentum here. I can't believe Case's performance right there, though, starting. But now Murphy coming back with a nice move there. Knee to the face of the machine. Cage came out of here, a house of fire, man. Now snaps down Greg Murphy. The Greg Murphy snaps down Cage. Now gonna lock him in the chin lock here. Murphy trying to wear down Cage. Not sure how smart that is. The machine's getting back up to his feet. Oh, and elbows to the stomach there from the machine called Cage. And now Cage just gonna send Greg Murphy into the corner here. The hell is Cage doing? Versus losing that title match against Delson Hollow. Cage, it seems, has been an outrage here. No, oh, and we're seeing that tonight. First night back since the match. Holy crap. Remember back at Showdown, Cage did the unthinkable and beat both Thor and Hell's Diablo in one freaking match, man. And now the machine called up Murphy. This could be the end. Call for it. What a pick. And now just going to plant Murphy into the mat here with a Weapon X. The Greg Murphy Weapon X. Been here supporting his machine. Oh, shit. I believe Cage has won the match in the ring here. Just Tim Murphy. Uh, Muscles has rang the bell, but uh, uh, Cage better watch the fuck out, man. Oh my god, the executioner Xander Mercer here and is making his way down to the ring. Oh god, Cage now has met Xander out here on the freaking ramp and they're going at it here. Cage and Xander Mercer are going at it up here on the ramp and Cage just folded Xander inside out. Man, the machine is on a whole other level right now, but Xander firing back. Oh jeez, and a big overhead club. Oh my god, Cage grabbing his head there. And we are ready for your main event, guys. As you can see, Chief Graham is in the building. He is making his way down to ringside for the main event. And nonetheless, guys, it is main event time. Chief Graham is making his way down to the ring. He's about to go head-to-head -head with Nitro for the Universe Championship. Can't get any bigger than this. The Navajo Nightmare, the Tribal Terror, the Pride of the Tribe. He is also competing in the United States title tournament. He will go up against Shinsuke Nakamura this Thursday in round one action. But here to prepare for that, he's going head to head with Nitro for the Universe Championship tonight. Which one's he, put, which one's he doing to prepare for which right now? He's fighting Nitro and then just in three nights he's going to go up against Shinsuke Nakamura and Nakamura's debut match. Huge man. This is huge. Huge opportunity. Uh, Graham making his way down to the ring here. That day he's about to challenge Nitro for the Universe Championship. This is going to be insane. And I can't wait. Tribal Terror about to go head to head with the Nitro Nightmare. Well, Nitro is about to make his way down to the ring. Grab your belt, man. And out here comes Nitro. The Universe Champion making his way down to the ring here. Looks like he grabs his belt. He is your UWA Universe Champion. This is the Nitro Nightmare. Everyone's favorite superstar, quote-unquote. This is the current two-time UWA Universe Champion, Nitro. Of course, Nitro having a great successful title defense against five-star Adam Page. He nice to go showdown in Seattle. He now has an opportunity to get a second title defense here tonight if he can knock off the Navajo Nightmare, something that Nitro has never been able to do in his career, knock off Chief Graham. This is a huge opportunity, and you know the man with Seto Miedo, former client of Ben, Pentagon Jr., is going to be watching on this. Speaking of Ben, I wonder how him and Cage are doing backstage after what just happened. Sure, more of that's to come next week. And then the last freaking Xander coming out and attacking Cage. He didn't take too kindly of those words dished out by Ben. Cage paid for it because of Ben's stupidity. I'd say, but nonetheless, this is going to be very interesting here tonight. 
That's for sure. Oh shit, and this just in, just signed for next week. Yeah, he's just mentioning that Cage is going to go head-to-head -head with Xander Mercer next week. I believe that's supposed to kick off Mayhem next week. Yeah, Cage is about to go head-to-head -head with Xander Mercer next week to kick off Mayhem. Uh, universe title thrown up on the line here tonight. This is huge. First, the challenger from Stillwater. This is the Navajo Nightmare. The pride of the tribe, Chief Graham. And introducing second, he is your current reigning, defending, two-time UWA Universe Champion of the UWA. This is none other than everyone's favorite superstar from Wall Street. Now residing in Nashville, this is Nitro. I think I did that backwards. Yeah, he's now residing in Wall Street. Shit, hope he doesn't hear that. I did it backwards. Nonetheless, Mr. Muscles is about to ring the, raise the title here. Still better than Justin's announcing. Uh, I didn't say nothing. Uh, universe title thrown up on the line here. Mr. Muscles raises that belt. Chief Graham Nitro going head to head. And Muscle's gonna ring the bell here. We're gonna get this matchup underway. Graham running right at freaking Nitro. Brace to the face there. Just repeat there on Nitro. Jesus. Nitro right now grabbing his face, able to roll out of the way of that stomp. Now gonna counter with a nice arm drag. There's Nitro. Step up super kick to the face of Chief Graham. Nitro is not playing around now. Neither is Graham, obviously, as seen from the start of this match. Oh, right there, Graham with a sucker punch. Rolling brace to the face. So now going to stomp Nitro. Nitro moves out of the way. Nitro now going to look to regain control. Graham going to send him off the ropes, though, and catches him with that big spear. Jeez, and that really had to hurt the ribs there of Nitro. Kicked the back there from Chief Graham. This match is starting out super fast-paced. Oh, come on, Graham. Go fuck yourself. Really a baseball bat? Nitro going to pull it out of the hands here of Chief Graham. Oh, jeez, now Graham blocks the brace to the face, went for an uppercut, Nitro counters left of the hand. And now, back suplex from Nitro to Chief Graham. Jesus. These two right now are going at it, man. They're not playing games. It's been a minute since we've seen these two compete. Oh, God, and a Samoan drop on top of the baseball bat. Holy crap, Graham cheating there and utilizing the baseball bat to his advantage. Of course he would, man. He needs to do everything he can here to try to win this universe title. And Graham looking to follow up. Oh, no. No! Oh, and just a big forearm rocks Nitro there from the Chief. And Graham right now is completely gaining control of this matchup. Had to cheat to do it, but hey, whatever, right? Graham now calling up Nitro. Uh, no! Jeez! Oh, Discus brace to the face there from the Chief to Nitro. God damn, he rocked him. Big right hand there from Graham. And now Graham follows up with a wheelbarrow face buster in for the cover. Can this be it? One, only a one count on Nitro. Nitro out at just a one. And now Graham looking to follow up. Nitro counters with a jawbreaker. And now right into a Famouser. Jeez, and just like that, Nitro's turned this around. Both these two utilizing their speed here tonight. Oh, God, now the rapid kicks from Nitro. And, no, oh, one right to the chest just stunned the Chief. And now Graham rolling out to the floor. Nitro right there spitting mist into his hand. Uh, oh, God, but Graham's had enough flies in with a forearm kip up there from Chief Graham. Graham right now is fired up. Oh, God, Nitro's in trouble. No, oh, brace to the chest there from Chief Graham to Nitro. Goddamn, Nitro's grabbing his chest after that one. Big right hand there from Ni from Graham. Graham now going to send Nitro back into the corner here. Forearm brace to the back there. Went to follow up. Nitro counters elbow to the face. Nitro cutter. Nitro cutter from Nitro out of freaking nowhere, man. Huge Nitro cutter. Oh, and now Nitro went to follow up. Graham counters with a brace again and now with a nice clothesline. 
Set out style there from Graham. Now Graham looking to follow up. Tribal kick. Jeez, big tribal kick there from the Chief. Now Graham falling up with his elbow to the spine. Jesus. I said Graham is not playing around, man. And another elbow to the back. Jesus Christ, Graham is trying to keep Nitro down. Now here we go, Navajo neutralizer. No, oh, jeez. Graham hitting his go-to finish there. Cover one, two. Oh, and Nitro able to kick out of the neutralizer at two. I think Graham for sure thought he had it there. Honestly thought he might have had it there too. Graham now going to lift up Nitro. Oh man, he's got Nitro up. Nitro's in trouble. No, oh, and he just gets bounced face first off the buckle there. Oh God, and Graham just flying in and just cross bodying him there out of the corner. What the hell is the Chief doing? Oh God, calling up Nitro. This could not be good. No. Oh. Went to hit him in the face there. Nitro moved out of the way. And that glory is going to cost him though. Oh God, Graham looking to roll him up here. Fruit roll up. La Mahistra cradle. Two. But Nitro able to kick out at two. Nitro right back up to his feet. Kick to the stomach. Now what the hell is Nitro doing? Drops him down to the middle rope here. Nitro off the ropes. Oh my God, 6-1 Nitro. 6-1 Nitro. And now Nitro gonna snap down the Chief. Oh God, now looking to wear him down here. Got him in the headlock here. Oh my God, I can't believe we just seen 6-1 Nitro. Oh, and right there Nitro just face palming Chief Graham. Oh God. Oh God, Nitro just tripped on the freaking baseball bat there. Oh my, no God, now just cross bodying him to the floor. Jesus. Nitro right now is trying to send a statement here. Trying to make a statement, I should say. Take out Chief Graham. No, oh, and he just gets bounced head first off the damn announce table. Jesus Christ, I think he's sending this message right to Pentagon. Nitro back in the ring. You're going to lift up the Chief. The hell does Nitro have planned? Oh, God. Corkscrew neck breaker from the Nitro Nightmare. Jesus, Nitro is hitting Graham with everything he's got. I think he needs a little bit more though, and that's what he's going for here. Implant DDT. Oh, jeez. Implant DDT there from Nitro in for the cover. Could that be it? One, two, as he finally beat Graham, and he does. Nitro finally able to beat Chief Graham for the first time in his career, man. Give it up to Nitro there. He is successfully able to retain the title. No, oh, tonight on Mayhem. Huge freaking matchup between Nitro and Chief Graham. Nitro coming out on top. You know Pentagon had to be watching on. Pentagon had to be watching that. The neutralizer there from Chief Graham. Nitro able to kick out the neutralizer, but right there the implant DT. They're uh, battling out to be too much for Chief Graham. He got hit with the with the freaking uh, uh, the Nitro Cutter, the implant DT, and a 6-1 Nitro, which we see him pulled out for the first time this year, I believe. Huge win there for Nitro. Huge freaking win. Nitro is now successfully defending the title against Chief Graham and Adam Page. Can you do it against Pentagon at Road to Riches? That's the big question.